Welcome to Window Shop with Car and Driver. This is the weekly show where Car and Driver editors, staffers, writers, and contributors and friends all get together to look at car listings on the internet based on a challenge. This week's challenge is to find a $600 car. So if you got a stimulus check for 600 bucks and you want to buy a car, we are hoping to help you out this week. Um, so we are joined by contributor John Perley Huffman, who's wearing an awesome Rusty Wallace t-shirt. Damn straight. Uh, Jonathan Ramsey, who has a couple of great cars on his screen, I see, uh, who's a contributor. Uh, senior editor, Joey Caparella, and um, deputy testing director, Casey Colwell. Uh, Joey, you want to kick it off? Yeah, I, I went pretty straightforward with this because, you know, you want something reliable, you want something easy to take care of. So I found this Corolla wagon for 500 bucks. Just breaking in at 300,000 miles on the odometer. Oh, it's a manual. But it's a manual, it's a wagon. This generation, eh, I could do without this generation, but it's good. It's a Corolla, you can't really go wrong. Um, what, what, is your, what is your Corolla generation of choice then? I'm actually not really into the Corolla. Like I like, you know, most Toyotas, but the Camry, I've got more of a soft spot for the Camry. You don't have any babysitters that had Corollas? <laughs> well, my dad, my dad had a Corolla wagon the generation before this. Um, it was fine. I was, uh, I found a couple of Camrys I didn't, I didn't pick, but you know, I always wanted the Camry wagon with the uh, three windshield wipers in the back of whatever it was. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's, a yeah, dual. that's the XV10. Two, two windshield wipers, it didn't have three. I don't know, five, maybe. <laughs> six, seven, 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 it had an abnormal number of windshield wipers. <laughs> two in the There's front, two in the back. It's not a normal number of windshield wipers for the back window. An abnormal number, yeah. And where is where is Wanches? Where yeah, is yeah, where is so that was I was wondering about that island as well and how much it would cost. This is in the Outer Banks of North Carolina, which is a very uh, nice place to visit. Hmm. My family used to go on vacation in Ocracoke. When I was so the salty air might be an issue here. Yeah, it's a. I'm sure that's probably to blame for some of these uh, paint. Yeah, so it's that, that's like typical like yeah. south florida um color fade yeah it, i mean if you, a lot of old cars look exactly like this in this area yeah, it's the sunburn it just the, the sun just burned the paint off but like yeah, their body looks pretty straight i mean there's not yeah. really they're a toyota they're curious. toyota lovers too they've got the second generation scion xp yeah and, and the avalon. first or second generation avalon right yeah so those are all good signs and i mean five hundred dollars is like but there's no hundred bucks to spare. Also, it says it runs. It has a valid inspection sticker. Like, do you trust the interior with no interior shop? Yeah, that's a little suspicious. But... Oh, it could have been their dog car or something. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But honestly, if it's like people, someone's North vacation Carolina home, issues driver's license for dogs. If if this is like parked at someone's vacation home and they drive it a few times a year, although I guess it has three hundred thousand. Okay, miles. That, that was not parked at a vacation home. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that maybe that's wishful thinking. Oh, sweet, I'm on vacation. The Corolla <laughs> wagon. Let's <laughs> go for a drive, kids. But it, okay, ninety five, and it's got three hundred thousand miles. That's like a pretty normal amount of miles per year. Mm. Three hundred thousand is a little bit more than normal. <laughs> yeah, when you go per year, but you know 200,000 of those miles were put on in like the first 12 years. Right. Yeah, I guess that's true. And now it's just a vacation car. <laughs> it's just a vacation car. But I think it would be a pretty good choice for 500 I bucks. It. I, it's so reliable. It's, it's reliable. It's a stick shift. It's a wagon. Did they, did I had a buddy. This, this is the generation where they were making car, uh, Corollas in uh, Fremont in California? Yeah, I think knew me. Is this, the are they making the wagon, are the wagons Japanese made or the wagons? I don't know, I should have looked that up, but I didn't. I bet the wagons are made in Japan, yeah. 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 Well, I do, I do feel like the, when you get down to this budget, you realize that cars are more expensive, half of what you're paying for is photos and more description. Like, no, yeah, you got to yeah, No one cares about telling you about their car. I like that it passed inspection, though, Joey. That's yeah, a, I, think really that's, I think that's a good sign. Yeah, but North Carolina inspection might not be. Exactly. <laughs> it might not be the same like tone. Tennessee inspection, which I'm familiar with. Well, North, North, uh, North Carolina, North Carolina is smog. part of NASCAR country. Of course they have good inspection. That's true. No. Oh, yeah, they take a template and they put it on your, on your Corolla. No, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> And it's five hundred dollars or say. best offer. You might get it for even less, and then you'll yeah, have a little. Four fifty, four twenty-five. You're cooking with gas. I like it. I like it, Joey. This is strong. Yeah. We're off to a good start, and which brings us to Mr. Huffman. 
<laughs> okay. Here comes the derailment. <laughs> I'd like to thank everybody yeah. for dis dismissing my car. Okay. I, I picked this uh, fantastic <laughs> 2003 Dodge Durango with four wheel drive. It's a thousand dollars. It's a thousand dollars your best offer. It's got a little surface rust up near the uh, on the roof, but look at it. It's pretty straight. I figure if if all goes if everything goes wrong with it, it's I could sell the wheels and tires for a thousand dollars. Hold on, scroll scroll down. Does it have an engine? Uh, it's it says well have, they have the wrong listing here. They say four point seven liter, and it's not because that would be a five two. It's a three eighteen. Hold on, a tech special probably probably, probably needs four. motor. Probably. Pearly, they put the four seven in that car. Yeah, yeah. No, they didn't, did they? Yeah, no, they I don't did. think so. Yeah. Same as the Durango. Yeah, yeah, this is like pre. This is like pre uh, Hemi, right? Yeah. No, it was pre Hemi, but I think it was the three eighteen. Uh, no, I think you could get the four seven as well. They had the five two also and a five nine. Uh, yeah, I, right. I, I think this is five two or five nine. I don't think they had the. I don't think they had the four seven. The four seven. The first anyway, one. Anyway, anyway, this one needs an engine, so you can put one of those other. Engines. Well, I sourced an engine. Uh oh. So, I sourced so, an engine, which is this. The money you don't have. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. It costs a little yeah. bit more. A little. A little bit more. But I know it fits. <laughs> How do you know? Do you? How do you know that? Because, see, here's here's a Hellcat in a Durango. I mean, in a Dakota. Yeah. Same car. Okay. Mm. This so, is great. So you're I would over take this. budget. You're over budget. Your suspect. Your your mod that you're going to do is well over budget. But it's it's that's but you're, I'm buying raw material. I'm not your buying. Your car doesn't run. So you're There's buying no radio car. even. Whoa. Does it have air conditioning? What's going on in there? that base HVAC system? Can you make that bigger? <laughs> Everything's gone. Like there's nothing. No, that's just that's yeah, the radio easy. face it's just the okay. radio face plate but this so i will say this the one thing i remember about this generation of durango is car and driver put the uh, shelby version on the yeah. cover and um i i always thought that car was total vaporware like it never really existed because i never saw one but then i saw one uh one time when i was in georgetown uh in dc so there's so my there's my durango cool. story that's all I got for you. So they're good looking. This, this, this is a this is a good looking this is a good looking vehicle. It's uh, got it, new it, tires, it, new it, tires, it, good looking wheels, and it and it's been it, the parts are plentiful. They're easy to work on, and it's within negotiating range. I know, but you don't. It's not running. And a third no, of the it says probably needs it. It says it says you know probably needs engine. They might, it at, might be let's wrong. Let's look at the listing. Let's go down to the listing again. Okay, let's see if I can get out of this. You click on that little arrow. Um, <laughs> really, this is this is Tech special. Probably needs motor, which it may not need motors. New big, new bigger tires, updated radio, power windows. Wait, wait, wait. Do you want to talk to Sam or Seth? You can talk What's to one on. Them? You're gonna yeah, get we'll talk to, You want me to call Seth <laughs> right now? Weird. I'll call him right now. We can talk to him on the. On the... Oh my God! Yes. Think, yeah. If, let's if let's let's loop him in. It probably needs a motor. Oh. It definitely needs a motor. Furley, there's a free Carfax. Click on the Carfax. Go all the way down. There is? Yeah. Uh -oh. You really did your research on this one, huh? Oh, I didn't see. Well, I, I didn't see that. No accidents. That's oh. cool. Eight, Eight previous owners. Owners. <laughs> owners one through six. They just group them all together. <laughs> It'd be too <laughs> wide, Joey. <laughs> In Minnesota, which means you know. I like I like how the odometer readings go from eight thousand to two hundred ten thousand, with nothing in between. Well, I want to know is how it goes from eight thousand to two thousand eighteen. Yeah, to two hundred ten thousand. Yeah, yeah. Scroll down. Scroll down. Yeah, scroll down. Scroll down. Yeah, 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 scroll down. Oh, they might be. I think probably Minnesota doesn't make you record after a certain yeah. year, maybe. Yeah. It's at Fury Motors. Yeah. Oh, that's it's great. a Gillies auto sale. Well, at least nobody, at least it wasn't crashed. That's good. And hold I on. Mean, this thing, hold on. Go down. Go down. This thing has been on sale for two years. Go down. <laughs> that's a red flag. It's been on sale for two years since what, 2019? Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, I, was try, I was trying not to pick another boring car. I was trying to find something that was interesting, that's something um, I might actually want. With four-wheel drive. As and you we, tell me, you didn't pick a car. It has no motor. <laughs> right. And you know, Pearly, the difference This is coming from the guy who tried to pitch a kit car. I know. <laughs> exactly. I know. I know. Exactly. No, this has this has a motor that probably needs to be replaced. Oh, yeah. Does probably does not the same thing. So you'd be walking. You'd spend your money. You'd blow your check, and then you'd be walking. Well, the thing is, that I'm getting twelve hundred dollars. I'm not getting six. I'm getting twelve. Okay, so the two hundred. I'm married. And you have two hundred dollars oh. in your pocket, and you're walking. <laughs> no, because I I could I could sell the wheels and tires for almost recover the entire cost of the car, and you're still walking. Oh, okay, so then you bought a car, you bought a car, and then you just sold the wheels and tires off of it. Okay. Yeah, and both, okay. this is like playing, I, this is like I, playing Sim City, but with Pergo. I buy the car, I sell the wheels and tires, I take whatever other parts I can sell on the, on on Craigslist, and then they crush it, and they, they pay me like four hundred bucks uh, to crush it. So, okay, I, so you really you're buying this to flip it. It's, it's an investment. Saying. Yeah. It's an investment, yeah. That's, that's it is. You know, when you think about it, if you're going to put your money into anything, old Dodge Durango's is just about the best investment you can make. All right. And no one ever. Unshare. Unshare. God. You know, you got. Please, let's proceed on to everybody else's boring vehicles because everybody's going to remember my Durango. Yours is boring. How is your car not? What boring? did you present? What car? Really, was we, we remember the Hindenburg. No one wants to be on it. <laughs> Four-wheel drive, new tires. All right. Uh, Mr. Ramsey, can you please get us back on track? I am not sure you can do that. I will do my best. So what uh, I played it straight with an old favorite, which would be the 2000 Saturn L series. Oh, oh God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. How can you? How can you ug a? a Saturn? Do you know how bad the review was on these on these cars? There was a great line in Car and Driver where they said, "Like Saturn is keen to point out that it shares nothing with the Opal, or whatever that it was based on," which makes us wonder: could the Opal be worse? Yeah, that's right. That's that's the line. This is this is one of the worst cars ever made, and I like the tape at the top here to hold the window in. Cars ever made, really? Perfect. Jonathan, I, I wouldn't go that far. Jonathan, tell us about this one. You're it's bad. Exactly. I got a hundred bucks left over for the celebration after I drive pearly to Outback Steakhouse for a Bloomin' Onion. I can go, I've got a 2.2 liter uh, four cylinder with 137 horsepower, something. You know, to torque. But look, I have reliable transportation. $600 buys you junk or misery. Here, at least. <laughs> yeah, yes, Tony, even, even you. <laughs> You, know, you have your bloom and onion. You fart in this thing; it's going to explode. Come on, there's nothing wrong with these cars. It's it's easy to fix. All the things you just mentioned: parts are cheap, parts are plentiful. They're easy to fix. They're everywhere. How many they miles on this thing? Two twenty-seven. They have plastic bodies too. Exactly, and I mean, look how well taken care of this is. Like, it still shines, except for this little bit here. Except for the parts that don't. Exactly. <laughs> you, is, you know, uh, there's there's so few of these left. I don't think you're gonna be have a. I don't think you're gonna have an easy time finding parts. They're not so. They're these are everywhere. Look, most of them in Italy are in junkyards, but these are everywhere. Uh, there's got to be a catch if it's only five hundred bucks. Were these particularly uh, reliable? I no, mean, they're not unreliable though. I mean that two point what two engine liter, is that two point two liter isn't unreliable and yeah, just has like a four speed transmission. It's not anything exotic. But why is it five hundred dollars in Malibu? Because nobody wants a Saturn sedan. No, but that's got to be like at least fifteen hundred in most cases. Nobody, nobody wants a stimulus check for just six hundred. It's also, yeah. I mean, it's also in in Linden, Utah, and mm -hmm. it's two wheel drive. So yeah, I guess it's not. not and it's an LS one. It's the base one. Yeah, there's nothing on that. This thing might not have AC. Are there any interior shots? I mean, it's uh, the opposite of sex appeal. No, they're not. <laughs> um, and in fact, not only are there no uh, interior shots, like the, I went to the site that has it and, um, oh, look, it looks like it was sold. This used to be, it was on this page. Pearly, you're leaned over like you're going to sleep when I'm showing the Saturn. Are you- are Here, you here, wait, live chat. Let's live chat and see what they say. <laughs> <No>. <laughs>
<laughs> we will do that next week. The deal is too good to pass up, I guess. Yeah, it's just, it's, 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 this, this is a card that just says I've given up on life. Yeah. If you have 600 bucks, if you have 600 bucks for a car, you, you don't have much else. Like but it what? looks, it, the body looks like it's in good shape because it had the plastic body panels. The paint exactly. is kind of fading, but it's not a bad color. It's got the wheel covers, it's got all of its wheel covers. Exactly. It's only faded on the bumper and the hood. Uh, God, look at the panel gaps because they had those plastic doors. And I, I guess this window. Yeah. Has to be God, they're. Those, those panels shriek over time, don't they? Well, they just never fit because I think the fenders are, are metal. Are steel and are then the doors, the doors are yeah, plastic. just the doors are plastic. yeah just the doors well, are I, I know that LS. doors and the front fenders it's everything that hangs on the steel unibody I, I know that the problem with a lot of these plastic panel cars is that in heat or cold they would shrink or grow right so the gaps, they, they had to make big gaps in order to just exactly exactly you know. but i mean because they, they heat and shrink at different yeah yeah at yeah. different rates at different rates yeah. you know. so i mean i, I like it you have a yeah, chance. I'm, I'm, you have a chance. You went sensible. I got a car that you can drive to work tomorrow to make the money you need to make. If you buy this car, you don't have a job. Why not? I, buy this car for really, I don't have a car. Like I don't understand. I don't understand how this is worse. <laughs> I, I need no motor. I have one. Um, Unless somebody's paying you to walk. Okay. You don't have a job either. <laughs> I've never had a job. So. That's Saturn for the win, is I think what we call that. Nah. Okay. All right, Mr. Colwell, what did you find? <laughs> you guys want to see this week's winner? <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't even get it out. Um, yeah, so I also um, uh, played this one pretty straight. And um, I, I, well, I talked to Tony about this before, and he got upset with me when I suggested buying a motorcycle because if I was spending $600 on a car, um, I'm clearly, uh, need something reliable and efficient. I and there's not much more efficient than a motorcycle, but, um, a 2001 Honda Odyssey for, oh, I saw the same one. I almost picked this one. $500 is a, oh, really? uh, you would have been, you would have been in better shape than with that Durango. <laughs> um, no, this, the, this. There, there aren't a lot of photos here, but I mean, this is the second row. It looks and decently clean. Those, yeah. those seats are cleaner than I was expecting. Else. You know, it's got a little bit of, you know, a little bit of damage, know, which I think every Odyssey of this vintage will have. Um, you know, more damage, more damage. This is all $500 car stuff. This is something going on there. But again, $500 car stuff. Uh, I say it, um, uh, uh, it needs a water pump. Um, again, this is something I would want to inspect. But also... <laughs> Uh, a water pump for it is also only like 78 bucks. So but how much, how much is it to install the pump? A water pump. That's just a couple hours of my time. Casey's going to do it himself. Yeah, but the, 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 pro the, pro the problem with these is that their transmissions fail pretty catastrophically. Yeah. There was a big extended warranty and recall thing. And yeah, they all, it's like a, every single one. Yeah, yeah, yeah but I mean, if it's, if it's running, if it's working still now, um, I mean, this is a 20 year old car. This sounds like someone's running from a fire they know was about to engulf the house. Hey, Joey, listen, you're the expert on these two thousands. Joey, you're the expert on these two thousands. Is aren't those um, Accord sixteen inch wheels? Did the Odyssey come with those? Um, they look they're like the same design. I would assume they're the same wheel. The, okay. the oh, yeah, Accord Casey. EX V six, yeah. I think the EX V six coupe had that. Those okay, wheels. perfect. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah, our photographer, but, uh, time, the staff, our photographer would um, shoot out of the back of one of these and they were terrific. They work really well. Wait, what is the I, not, not quite Honda reliability? <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't know where about that. Um, this is actually, I think this was, I think Kylie bought our long-term car. Oh, did he? No, he had a silver one, didn't he? Oh, that's right. He did have a silver one. Mm -hmm. yeah, the, the, the problem, the problem with these is that uh, it's rare for a Honda is they, they don't last. Yeah. Well, this one has clearly lasted. No, this one. I mean, what are you talking about? They don't last. I, 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 I no, no. You're. I, I say you're completely incorrect. My sister had one. Uh, that I mean, they drove that thing back into the earth. There's like uh, ten of these in my neighborhood. The ca catastrophic the transmission the failure is what I keep uh, hearing. They're from overblown. You know what? You know what fails is that four seven in Durango's. Yeah. 
<laughs> and also, I will say that this is this is you can you can do you can do more with this than any other vehicle so far so far presented. Well, and, uh, because drive. again, if I'm spending if I'm spending six hundred dollars on a car, I want something that is super practical, very versatile. You know, who knows what kind of odd jobs I'm going to need to do. But you don't have the money to keep it running. But no, it's currently these, running. These do not. No, these do not. Uh, these do not require a lot of money to keep them running. Ooh. Oh, Mr. Yeah. Si Mr. Saturn. Saturns don't require a lot of money. Saturn. I know Saturns. It's a, you just you just drive them until they break, and then you buy another one. Yeah. <laughs> That's but true. they're so cheap. You can do that. <laughs> I can go get. It's the <laughs> same same cheap as this. You just tear off that. another one, Jonathan, and there you go. <laughs> you have a big Saturn dispenser. Hmm. Oh, you guys. Oh man, I'm really gonna kill you guys this week. No, you're not. Ready to see the winner. Ready to line, Tony? Is that what it is? <laughs> you ready to see the winner? That's not it. This, my friends, is it. Riviera. Oh, it's a Jonathan's background. I, I have one of those. <laughs> 1996 Buick Riviera supercharged, friends. So it's the same oh. engine that's in your car, John. Well, no, this one's a V8. Where does it say V8? Yeah, supercharged V8. That's not right. It's not no, a supercharged V8. This is a 3800. 3800. That's just. Well, I know it is. He also says he's a 45th year medical student. <laughs> That's a little troubling. <laughs> well, I'm glad, I'm glad he cleaned it up before he took some photos. Well, you know, it's a 700. Okay, so I'm a little over budget. I think we can negotiate this down and get within 600, get to $600 on it. It only has 102,000 miles, friends, 102,000 miles. So I believe it has the least number of miles of any of the cars here. It also has the most horsepower. It also is the quickest to 60. Anyone want to guess how quick it is to 60? Six seven seconds. Seven. I was going to say six, six. Seven, seven flat. And the street start is seven, two. So you don't even need a big launch. 15, three at 91 and a quarter. 240 horsepower, 280 pound-feet of torque. Incredible, incredible car. Same um, color, this one, no, that's a different color, Joey. This one is um, light jade stone metallic. The other one is light Adriatic metallic. Dear Lord. I wish I hadn't said anything. <laughs> this, this, is not, this is not light jade stone metallic. This is some paint that used to be yeah, light jade stone metallic. Be. No, it's still light jade stone metallic. So if you look closely, Wait, there, why are there two straws in one cup? <laughs> There's two like lids, too. Lids. This, is, this is a sign you don't want to buy this car. No, yeah. no, no. This is a busy guy. He's a, he's a Same he's with that working in the hospital. Wheel. He's working in the hospital. The steering wheel is a little worn, but also How dirtier his hands. The radio, well, you know, it's probably been owned by a lot of people, but it does have the leather wrapped steering wheel. But Buick, in typical GM lazy fashion of the 1990s, only put the leather where it's easy to put it because it's hard to wrap leather around spokes. They only put it in the easy grip areas. Anyway, so there is a radio knob that's missing, which I have sourced. Hold on, did, did you, what happened to that turn signal? Well, that's what I was gonna say, the turn signal. Would you actually wanna touch that? Yeah, no, it's just a little mean, faded. A little armor all that. We're so stuff. smug about this car. Here's the, here's the knob for the Not radio. Not $16. I found for it for $3, Casey, don't oh, worry. Green. I found it for less. And 100 bucks says that's not the right part when you get it. <laughs> that's the right part. And when well, you the thing is that what, order that part, I want to bet you right now, order that part. I want to see it shipped. When you <laughs> use the stereo controls, the actual volume knob turns on the radio, which is pretty badass. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that once you got that knob installed on the radio, you'd find out the radio doesn't work. Oh, and I'm that, sure you can test that's it. The same, that's the same radio knob in my car. So. <laughs> I found, uh, so it's missing this wheel cover or this nut cover, which I also found for $20. And did you find headlights? Where you just keep going like over budget. Road? <laughs> well, I mean, this is like, you know, this car is worth fixing up unlike Mr. Huffman's and I'm barely under budget. You can't put a Hellcat in that. You can put a Hellcat in my Durango. So I also, I sourced the uh, center mm -hmm. console because the center console on mine is admittedly not super nice. I mean, but one on that eBay listing, nice. Look at that. <laughs> that that's eBay listing. Are you, sure this that thing only, are, you sure, are you sure this thing only has 102,000 miles on it? Because yeah, yeah, it's rough. just old. Those yeah, 400,000 on that seat. I know. 
<laughs> yeah, the seat has there's a Bojangles the bag. The rear seat's gorgeous. You just need to graft some of the leather from the rear seat onto that front seat. Like yeah, all the graft. business, all the business he should have been doing in the back seat, he did in the front seat. Though. Yeah, see, there's the wear. So it has some wear, but I did source a roll of duct tape. Is that a cigarette burn where your butt would be? <laughs> That's exactly like what kind of CSI nonsense? Oh, that I think it's worn. I think it's worn through this, and it's gotten to the foam. Oh, that's yeah. another layer. That's another. That's another layer of the. Uh, of that's the, another of layer the, uh, of strata there. Of the core. I think, I think that's. I think that's the part of the seat the uh, crime scene investigators had to cut out because it had the blood sample on it. You should have chosen that BMW you had pulled up. If you want to continue to invest in it, there's the, you can buy a brand new steering wheel for two hundred seventy dollars. Okay, you, you you don't have any money for any of this. I'm <laughs> saying in the future, this car runs and drives perfectly. Let's take a look at the listing. And uh, hold on. perfectly, this runs engine is beautifully according to this gentleman. Oh my God, I wouldn't trust this gentleman. Anyone who's been in medical school for forty five years cannot. <laughs> he's a doctor. He's a doctor <laughs> in their car. <laughs> Wow. He's a doctor. I think no. he just needs to move. You can see the stethoscope. This person's stethoscope. Yeah, yeah. his stethoscope. <laughs> that's just what he uses. That's, that's just the excuse he uses when he gets pulled over. He's like, this I'm on my way to the hospital. This car is the doctor's office. What's, 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 the wear on, how the, what's the wear on the center console? That looks a little strange, too. It's just from somebody's arm. Are you sure? I bet, what is coming out of their arm? I bet, you, I bet you in that bag is a bottle of rubbing alcohol that he drinks. <laughs> I think Pearly, I think it's just sun fade and I think it's just I, I think they might have tried to put tape on it or something. Now, the person who the person who owned it before them sat way closer to the steering wheel and that's that's from the buckle. I think uh, I think this was I think that's a murder scene. I think that somebody was murdered in this vehicle and that's what <laughs> a, a friend's grandmother drove one of these in high school and sat very, very close to the wheel. Look at the this seat. color, look at the color match on the towel. <laughs> towel come with the car. You think you can get him to throw the towel in? That that towel was white. It just transferred. <laughs> but you know, he's got a parking sticker. What what do you think that's for? When's it expired? Is the the, like the parking sticker expires in like 2016 or something? Right. He's got to move the car. That's the reason for sale. He's got to move the car. I need this car gone from MUSC. Yeah. So he's motivated. I think I can knock him down to 600. I've got a perfectly running car, zero to 60 in seven seconds. Mm. Four wheel independent suspension, traction control, ABS. Great car. By far yeah. the best car here. Least practical. <laughs> least practical? Yeah. It's, it's, it, is, it is the least more. practical. It's the least practical. It, it has nearly 100 feet, uh, cubic feet of, in, of interior volume. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But if, to get to that hundred cubic feet, if you got to go through something this small, it's less practical. Not practical. I'm just, I'm just confused why you're so smug about this car. That's really not all that. And it's got the 3800, which is an incredibly reliable engine, right, Mr. Ramsey? It's got fewer um, miles than your Park Avenue. That those, those facts are correct. However, that engine, that engine is thirsty and needs premium gas. So you're going to spend a fortune, especially around the city. You're going to spend a fortune. I, I, I just, I, I, I'm suspicious of the hundred thousand miles. That car looks like it's had a much harder life than the hundred thousand miles. Well, I mean, a slob owned it. That's all. That's all. Yeah, but you of all people. Yeah, no, Tony. No, no, there's no look, way. There's no way. I'm a okay slob. slob. I could buy that car. You're not. You're a neatnik. You couldn't buy that car. I'll clean yeah. it, and it's, it's. For six hundred bucks, I'm into it. Pay somebody to clean it. Exactly. Anyway, okay. Anyway, that's enough. <laughs> We've reached the part of the show where we uh, judge each other's picks and pick a favorite car of our own. Uh, Mr. Huffman, you're up first. I think you're going to oh, look. Oh, no, no, Joey was first. Joey was oh, first. Sorry, Joey was first. Joey was first. Oh, wagon. 100%. oh man, yeah. Roll a wagon. wagon in the Outer Banks. I had to give it a thumbs up. Yeah. Joey, what was your favorite car? It's got to be Durango. Well, I I think I'm gonna go with the Saturn actually. He <laughs> just blew out his mic. We're not gonna be able to hear him for the rest of the episode. <laughs> 2021 has officially begun. No right further now. comment. Saturn's my favorite. Thank oh. You. All right, uh, Mr. Hoffman, I can't remember your car. What was it? It again? was a 2003 Dodge Durango, four wheel drive. <laughs> Ready for hemp. Ready for ready for the installation of oh, a yeah. Hellcat engine. This hurts me, but <laughs> unanimous yeah. thumbs down, Mr. Hunt. Only the only vehicle, the only vehicle that had new tires on it, the only vehicle that had a the only vehicle with four-wheel drive, the only truck. 
come on. We Thank already you. voted. It's I know, <laughs> I'm too late. Move on. What was your favorite car? It's got to be that Riviera. No car matches you better. With a Saturn. You know, I think it's a pretty motley bunch, but if I was going to have to pick one, it would be Joey's uh, Corolla wagon. Thank you very much. You guys are nuts. Rationality <laughs> prevails. Yeah. My car has 25 hertz of structural rigidity. It vibrates at 25 hertz. <laughs> you're you're going to go deeper and deeper into the specs until you're saying it has like <laughs> a two millimeter so thick rigid. leather. On the How many amps is this alternator, Tony? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mr. Ramsey, you had the lovely Saturn SL, or sorry, Saturn L series. Last forever, yes. It's a vehicle uh, I just hated. Uh, pretty good, for 500 bucks. You split the crew, you split the crew, I think that's okay. I'll take it, I'll take it. Um, and I gotta go with, uh, I gotta go with the Corolla wagon. Uh, what are you in? You have a picture of the car that I have behind you. <laughs> no, I don't. No, 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 see, I don't. Tony's head is gonna. So that's the good car you have. <laughs> I have a picture of a car I would buy if it was five hundred bucks. I would not buy what you have because because you don't know what you don't know what that guy has done. I mean, he literally his family could have been sleeping in the trunk. It's got a big trunk. Who knows what has happened to your Riviera? This I would buy, but I would take Joey's Corolla. Uh, we couldn't even see the inside of Joey's Corolla. It could be a hundred times worse. It I could mean, be. I, I would give. We don't know that. Uh, we know yours is bad. <laughs> look, and Joey's Joey's car is it has been parked in a vacation house somewhere on the outer <laughs> lakes, only used for exactly. uh, PR and champagne. So I figure I'm I'll take the win. Well, I like the fact I like the fact that the invented backstories for Joey's car keeps getting more and more elaborate. <laughs> Are part of the sale. You know everything about it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Casey, um, you're up. No, yeah, nobody, nobody liked my uh, my Odyssey. It's the only. It's probably the, well. I guess you could sleep in that. Uh, I think it's the best for, uh, if you're gonna buy one to park outside of my, uh, my homeowners association and live in. Yeah, it's okay, but I, I, mean, I like it. it. I like, like it. the water pump fix goes well. I just, I'm just scared of those. I just keep hearing so much about how they break. Well, because they're all 20 years old now. Everything 20 years old. So they broke one. They broke a lot earlier than that. Saturns don't break after 20 years. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Saturn, Saturns just keep going around. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Nothing, nothing <laughs> stops Saturn from orbiting. They never stop. So it sounds like you're not going to give Ramsey a Saturn vote. So is it going yeah. to Riviera, the Durango, or the Corolla? Or, or the Saturn. I mean, and I and I and there's no abstaining from voting. No, yeah. you have to because uh -huh. so I it would it would yeah. I would I'm really concerned with a with any ad that shows nothing of the inside of the car. Um, I wouldn't even call on that. That's I mean, it, or it may, I mean maybe it would be I need to see photos of the interior, um, but I have the radio now. I mean, I can't. I, I know, it's and the, I can't go. The, I know this is what hurts versus... me because I, I'm not into the Riviera at all. But given my choices, <laughs> I I guess I'm going with the. You? Rango. The... Oh, I can't believe this. I can't believe this. Given my choices. Oh man, I mean, it's the quickest. I should have contacted. I should have contacted the Corolla ad people and gotten an interior. Yeah, you. Oh man, because it's like it's an evil. unknown versus the known evil. There's no way that Toyota is as bad as that Riviera. There's no I way it is. I, All right. I mean, uh, I, I'm still standing by my Odyssey as having the cleanest looking interior of of the of the five. Of what we could see, Casey, there was just the picture <laughs> of the second row. The rest, of the like I just, said, of what the we rest know, of the car was used as a bomb. What we know. Anyway, I don't think so. 240 horsepower. That's Buick's not in the ad. 240 horsepower Buick, seven seconds to 60, 25 yeah. hertz structure. Yeah, look, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you a thumbs up. <laughs> just, no. just to be simpatico. Stop. It's, it's, a murder, it's, a murder car. it's a murder car. It's a murder car. How is it a murder car? The guy's a doctor. He's a 45 year. Okay, He's so, not a doctor. He's a yeah, student. Like Hannibal Lecter was a doctor too. <laughs> All right, and then my choices are the audience. No one who knows him will let them work on work on him. No one who knows him. So am I going to buy the Odyssey, the Corolla wagon, or, or Saturn. the Saturn? Not the Durango. You're not even going to mention the Durango. 
<laughs> no, I forgot about it already. That's the second time you've forgotten about it this episode. I know. <laughs> really said, thought it would be unforgettable. I'm going to go with, <laughs> um, I guess I'll go with the Corolla wagon just because it's a manual. Thank you. I got the win this week. I can't believe the Buick didn't win, but that's what's really? going to you really can't believe that Buick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it was incredible. Can't always trust your own instinct. Oh, man. I, I, do think I, just, I, just can't, I can't believe you guys didn't see the, the value in that Durango. I it think Buick is the run. I think Buick is the most presented marquee. <laughs> yeah. There are a right. lot of Buicks. I'm now I'm upset I didn't I didn't I, I had I found an Eagle Vision, Ooh. Uh, which would have been the first Eagle I think. And what, what someday, you, someday we should go through and count which are the most presented brands on the show. Oh, this! If we ever get an intern this summer, they'll have to do that. Yeah, that would be a good project. I think AMC has got to be the most Buick. I think the Buick. No, no. And then we have to interview. We have to interview the uh, the the intern after we make them watch every single episode. <laughs> you, you know, and you know. Like, gone insane. I, I was I was looking when I was looking at the cars. The cars I kept being tempted to to pick was like a Buick with Saber. And the reason why I didn't is because uh, I just had done two Buicks in a row, and I didn't want to do a third Buick in a row. Well, when yeah. Buick's the answer, you got to go with Buick. Yeah, I, <laughs> but it wasn't, I mean, you know, you've lost. The car I kept finding was the like '96 to 2000 Nissan exactly. Maxima. Yeah. There were like a million of those for. There were really there are a lot of Sentras too. Yeah, yeah, a lot of Nissans in general. And yeah, right. the, the, the tw a twenty-year-old okay. Nissan just so just evokes so much economic marginalization. Says the, <laughs> the man who presented a Durango. Um, so, How many of those Durangos do you see on the road these days? It's okay. Well, <laughs> all right. Well, that brings us to the end of this episode. Um, wait, hold on. Wait, wait. I I just, Eagle, wasn't the Eagle Eagle? Wasn't there the before the Eagle premiere? Because there, there was there was, there was the Dodge Eagle Monaco Medallion. and the Eagle premiere. Eagle Medallion was a rebadged Renault. Right. Eagle. Let's do an all Eagle episode next time. <laughs> oh, I would love. I would love to have found like that. That. All right, well, that brings us to the end of this episode. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was savage. I want, keep to thank muting me. I want to thank everyone for leaving suggestions in the comments last week. Um, I've added them to the list and we'll, we'll, in, we'll, try to get the, we'll try to get to those as soon as we can. And if you want to leave a comment about um, who you think the winner was. Um, <laughs> Odyssey. <laughs> you know, there's got to be at least one so. person out there who likes the Durango. Give us a like. And uh, subscribe to our channel. And, and uh, Saturn had much better commercials. What's that, Jonathan? Saturn had much better commercials. Better. Wasn't the Saturn commercial of boxes driving down the street? Oh my God. Cut, cut this episode. We gotta go. Let's shine a new car, boy. Congratulations, Homer. You got yourself a dandy, deedly doodly car. Introducing the roomier, more powerful Toyota Corolla. Pretty jealous, eh, Flanders? Well, just a smidgely widgely. <laughs> now with a standard driver's side airbag and more value than ever. But you know, Homer, I kind of prefer my new car, eh? Oh, yeah? What kind of car do you have? Surprise, neighbor! I just bought a new Corolla wagon! <laughs> the all-new Corolla by Toyota. A welcome addition to any family.